Mamsermi and Lafia are two neighboring communities in Lamode local government area of Adamawa State. Both communities with a population comprising Muslims and Christians have lived together peacefully for years, until recently when an issue arose over farmland. About 30 people were allegedly killed as a result of the communal clash which spread to Boshikiri, a neighboring community in Goyuk local government area. These people, they are a tribe called Lunguda. And we here, we call Wajapi tribe. We have farms in Savannah area. People are going there doing their farming, more than 20 to 40 years. But they come down due to the, the serious situation of the country. They came down from their area, they come to, the, to our farms, they say we should not farm there. Uneasiness hovers over the area for fear of reprisal attacks. Women and children evacuate to safer areas, leaving only the men and youth behind. Mm -hmm. Security agents patrol the communities to secure those that are left. But the residents still cry out for help. Now here in Latvia, nobody is sleeping. Our children, they have gone. Our wives, nobody is here, except these people that they are seeing here. So we need the help of government to come and support us here. Maybe if coffee is take place, this will be balanced. Those who escaped the clash take refuge in Lamurda's community town hall while the injured are taken to the Federal Medical Center in Yola, the state capital. So we found out that we have about 1,185 IDPs now residing in Lamurde, uh, Lamurde uh, Community Hall. So you see a patient that we took from the clinic now. We are taking him to the general hospital for Federal Medical Center Yola. We came with our two little ones. Some of them are sick, and there are pregnant women among, among us now that need uh, help from the government. That is, that is why we, we are crying out to the government, if they may come to our rescue, to come uh, to our aid with some um, items like drugs and other things. Meanwhile, the state government, through its emergency management agency, has stepped in with relief materials for the victims. I have got a call from the head of service of Guyuk, who told me he met nearly 100 people in his house as uh, IDPs. So he was able to secure a place for them, and now they are, I mean, being stationed in one place as IDPs from Guyuk. It appears the actual cause of the crisis remains to be identified. Until that is done and action taken to address it, these people may continue to live in fear.